I'm from New York. I've been living in Key for the last year. Um, we build a visual positioning system that essentially helps platforms navigate where there is no GPS. Well, I showed up here February, the first week of February 2024, and uh, I was supposed to be here for two weeks, and uh, I essentially got pulled into an important person's office in the military and political sphere who told me he needed my help to win the war. And uh, I thought that was pretty provocative. And uh, my system is kind of, you know, I've been very aware of the GPS jamming and GPS spoofing problem facing a lot of platforms here. And my pro uh, product is like uniquely suited to, uh, to solve that. So if you're in the right place at the right time and you could do something great, uh, you know, you should. So I've been spending a year here essentially integrating my, uh, my product into various kind of um, long range aerial platforms. We've had a lot of success selling this product in, you know, in the West to uh, large tier one kind of defense primes and uh, US Army, US Air Force. Um, so here, yeah, I mean, like the system essentially, what we do is we take uh, one, to two, one to four simultaneously running daytime or nighttime cameras. They go into a little NVIDIA computer with our software on it. Uh, attached to a little computer, there's a little hard drive with a pre-existing 3D terrain map database that we get from third-party satellite imagery providers. So essentially, we could just take this box, apply it to any platform, uh, and then we, the, the drone treats uh, this like GPS, but you cannot jam it, you cannot spoof it. It works daytime, works nighttime, um, works at very low altitudes, works at high altitudes, um, kamikaze platforms, um, multi-rotor platforms, ISR platforms. Uh, so yeah, you just kind of, you know, duct tape this to the bottom of the drone. One, you know, power for uh, one cable for power, one cable for, you know, a GPS cable. The basic premise is that like um, uh, we're essentially kind of using the cameras. It's kind of like facial recognition with your smartphone. So when you buy, when you buy like your iPhone, you take a couple photos of your face, and then uh, you know, five years later. To, to, you, your face, although you're older, fatter, you're wearing sunglasses, you've grown a beard, uh, the deep neural network still recognizes that it's you because of the shape of your nose, the shape of your lips, like th things that haven't changed. So yes, it essentially takes you know the cameras, looks at the ground, uh, you know photons hit the sensors, go into the computer, and then the deep neural network matches to the locally stored map database. But there's also an IMU in here, and we're also doing something called visual and inertial odometry which essentially means like we're tracking the movement of pixels to figure out our location. So this is our nighttime system, um, and we also have a daytime system here as well. So this is uh, daytime cameras. We've probably integrated into like 40 or 50 platforms here. Um, we have several large purchase orders with uh, nation states. Uh, we have several purchase orders with uh, uh, long range deep strike uh, platforms, ISR platforms. Um, and uh, I'm doing integrations into uh, US-made drones as well that are, that are operating here. Um, and uh, I, have customer, I have customers in Australia, um, in the UK, in America, in Singapore. We've been here for a year because like nowhere else in the world can you actually do this amount of testing on like large, fast, exotic platforms. I mean like, you know, we've collected a lot of data, we've looked at a lot of data, we've, t we've tweaked, you know, We've tweaked software. You know, it's not like you would just, a lot of people will think like, oh, AI, we just like use it and it gets better over time. It's like, no, you have to like do it, figure out why it didn't work, look at the data, tweak the data a little bit, fly it again. So like being here for a year has kind of like allowed us to like integrate into dozens of platforms, do dozens of missions, collect lots of data, look at it, fix it, improve it, figure out what features were important to customers and, um, and de deploy them to, uh, to battle.